Hey guys, welcome to Cece's Texas Garden. It is evening time, y'all, and I am thinking about putting these squash out. Of I'm going to leave one squash in the container, and then I'm going to put one squash in the raised bed. I'm hoping that um, the squash vine bore then kind of calm down. I don't know if she have, but I can't have two squashes in these containers. It, it's only good enough for really one. So um, that means that I do need to move uh, them out of there. I'm thinking I will take the weaker of the two, but even though they're both having some blooms on them, God, I hate to move them. But um, it's not enough room in here for both. And the ants are ridiculous. <laughs> uh, this one here, I'm going to take the smaller one. So I'm going to leave the bigger one that's more established in there. And and this right here, these are like two little weak ones. But they having a little, um, trying to get some little blooms already on there. So I just moved. These are patty pan squash. But guys, look what I discovered. It is splitting right here. Usually when it's splitting like this, this is because it's a squash vine board and got in it already. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how beautiful and healthy this plant is. And I hate to dig around and see, but I really feel like he's probably in there. And I don't know. I hate to mess with this squash if it's not. But when it splits like that, usually it's because they're in there. Oh, man. That's not good. That is not good. Maybe it just split to split, but... Mm, this little butt is probably in there. So I'm just going to split up a little further. to see oh this poor plant oh my gosh Can, is it see through to the other side no okay oh man okay I can't do this with one hand I'm gonna bring y'all back um, <laughs> if I find something Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Guys, I'm out here getting ready to plant up some of these fall seeds. Um, I want to do the little square method. I have never done it before. I've always wanted to. Uh, I really don't have a measurement of a square. I'm just, what I decided to do, I figure I can get nine squares in this space here. We're going to go with that as, as nine squares there. And uh, so I want to do nine on this side and make nine squares on that side. And then I think I'm only going to put two plants or two seeds in each one of the squares. I have cabbage to put in. I have, um, I think it's different kind of cabbages that I'm going to put in. I want a lot a variety of cabbage I uh, love cabbage and um, yeah yeah your girl loves cabbage <laughs> uh, and so I want to make sure that I get the different varieties in here I am going to label them hopefully I can keep up with the labels I don't know I don't know about you but my labels like disappear they just like I don't know what happens to them <laughs> but we're gonna try and uh, see if they can stay a little longer so we can actually know which cabbage is what cabbage, you know. But let me kind of show you the variety that I will be planting. 
But before I show you the variety, I want to show you this quick seed meal that I got from Shelly. She is on our garden chat we have like every other week um, on Rashida's channel. I post it a lot on my community page. But Shelly is one of the ladies that was on the panel. And she sent me some Allegro tea, decaf black tea. And she sent me this Lemon Lift black tea. I don't know if it's it makes you know energy but it says lemon lift and then she sent me some canary melon seeds i will be planting these uh, next year uh definitely to see what they grow she grew them in her garden let me show you what the seeds look like so these are what the seeds look like they kind of look like honeydew or our uh, cantaloupe seeds but it is for the canary melon all right so all right guys so let me show you the varieties of cabbage that i will be trying to grow <laughs> i'm gonna put it like that trying to grow we have some savoy cabbage some purple savoy cabbage there I go the train y'all uh golden acre cabbage and these are from the okra lady with the ones that have the okra on there um copenhagen market cabbage this is cabbage corda blue this is ray um let's say ray's feed store collards these were sent to me by a subscriber champion collards and premium Dutch, I think these are Dutch one, premium late flat Dutch, yes. Okay, actually I found some more. <laughs> um, here is the Vates, Vates collards. Wait a minute, we're not talking about collards, we're talking about cabbage. Never mind. Here is the Charleston Wakefield cabbage and the early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. All right, we got Charleston, Wakefield, we got Jersey, at uh, Texas. When y'all gonna come up with a uh, cabbage now? <laughs> All right, so I am gonna plant, like I said, two seeds, and each one of these little squares. So then I'll put some more over here. I might add. Um, I'm definitely gonna put in some onions, some garlic, just surrounding them. Um, you know just plant some little bulbs and things in there to detour any pests and i am going to cover this bed up it will be uh, covered because i don't want the cabbage moss to have a whole big cabbage party in my bed so i'm definitely gonna um, get me some tool go across here and clamp this down so that the cabbage moss doesn't get a chance to get in there and lay her babies all right so i'm um i don't know if y'all want to see me put the little seeds y'all not even gonna be able to see them there you see how tiny these things are so like i said i'm gonna just put two little dots but i'm going to take right now the time to do my labels so i can actually label this stuff up and uh